So, tapos na tayo sa cylindrical vessel natin, guys. So, dito tayo ngayon sa, so, ayan na yung sa cylindrical. So, circumferential tsaka longitudinal. Okay? So, normal stress component. So, yung hoop stress na natin is a normal stress component on a longitudinal section. So, I Pwede nyo siyang na hoop stress or circumferential or tangential. Okay lang din yon, Okay lang din. So next is yung longitudinal stress natin. Okay, so longitudinal stress, it is a normal stress component on a transverse section. So technically, yun nga. Di ba? So next, parallel to longitudinal axis of cylinder. Okay, so next, so nabanggit ko din yung spherical bezel natin. So, pagdating naman sa spherical pressure vessel, technically, longitudinal stress din siya. So, what it means? So, ano big sabihin nun kung ganun? So, big sabihin, uh, spherical vessel natin is meron siyang formula the same as longitudinal. So, we have, let natin as S yan. Okay? It's equals to PD over 4T. Okay? So, yan yung spherical vessel natin. So, the same siya as sigma L. Okay? So, ayan. Okay guys, so ayun lang sa spherical vessel natin. Kasi technically guys, stress is the same regardless of direction. At anong gawin natin sa sphere? Yun at yun din yun. Kung ganito man, tsaka, ano ba? Something like that. Okay? So, ayun. So ngayon, proceed tayo ngayon sa sample problem. Okay. Pabasa nung first problem. Sino ba pwede magbasa? Ayun nga sa first problem natin, we have a spherical shell with a 70-inch outer diameter and 67-inch inner diameter. Contains a helium, contains helium at a pressure of 1200 PSI. Compute the stress in the shell. So, ang given natin guys, ang given is, ang tawag dito, dalawang diameter which is yung outer and inner and uh, internal pressure of, internal pressure of, Internal pressure now 1200 PSI. So, sample problems, number one. So, we have outer 70 inch, inner 67 inch, okay? And, meron tayong pressure na equals to 1200 PSI, okay? So, technically guys, hindi binigay, hindi binigay yung ano na, hindi binigay yung ano, di ba? Hindi ba sinasabing hindi binigay, pero pwede natin isolve yung thickness. So, solve natin yung thickness with this formula. Thickness is equals to diameter, ay outer minus inner diameter. So, we have thickness equals to 3 inches. And, ang inahanap ay sigma S kasi spherical siya. Okay? So, we can now solve, we can now solve the spherical stress or yun nga, longitudinal stress. So, S is equals to PD over 4T. Okay? So, ayan. Solve lang natin. So, 1200 PSI. So, note, so note guys. Pansin nyo yung unit, ha. Dapat uniform yung unit natin. Kasi kailangan, dahil ang stress is a pressure also, dapat ang unit ng, ang unit ng stress natin is either PSI, PSI, Pascal, PSF, ganun, di ba? Bar, Tor, Megapascal, Kilopascal, and so on. So, multiplied by 67 inches. All over 4 inches. Ay, 4 times 3 inches as, ano. So, mapapansin nyo, magka-cancel out yung unit na to. Okay? So, malitira na lang na unit is yung PSI. So, lahat ng solution for pressure vessel, guys, is ganyan yung mangyayari. Dapat mag-cancel out, dapat mag-cancel out yung unit ng thickness and ng diameter. Okay? Para makuha natin yung hinahanap na unit. Okay, so ayan. So solve sigma s is equals to 1200 times 67 divided by 12. So we have final answer of 6700 psi. Okay? So ito yung ito yung stress or ito yung stress na na produce ng spherical vessel natin once na nag-apply ka ng 1200 na pressure sa loob. Okay? So, ayan yung yung stress na nagagawa nung ano natin. Okay? So, next problem. Okay, next problem tayo. 
balik tayo doon. So ayan. The cylindrical portion of a pro of the propane tank has an outer diameter of 12 inches. Okay? So may given a uh, outer diameter and the wall thickness of 0.125 inches. Calculate the longitudinal and, and tangential stress in the wall of the cylinder when the tank is pressurized to 200 psi. Okay, so ang given is outer diameter, thickness, and internal pressure of 200 psi. So, solve na natin siya. So, ayan. We have outer diameter na 12 inches, thickness na 0.125 and internal pressure na 200 psi so find sigma l and then sigma c so technically guys wala pa tayong inner diameter pero technically kaya natin isolve yon di ba so we have inner diameter is equals to 11.875 inches okay so ayan solve na natin siya first solve natin sigma l is equals to p d over 4 Okay, so we have uh, 200 multiplied by 11.875 inches, okay? Inches plus PSI, lagay natin para makita nyo yung cancellation ng units. Para hindi kayo malito, ako oh, nalilito ay dahil dyan. 1, 2, inches. So we have sigma L. Divided by 4.875. 1, 2, 5. So, we have sigma L is equal to 4, 7, 50 PSI. Okay? Kasi, magka-cancel out tong unit na to. And then, ang matitira na lang is yung PSI natin. Okay? So, next tayo. Solve naman natin yung sigma C. So, sigma C is equal to PD over 4T. Ay, 2T naman siya, di ba? So, 2T siya. 2T. So, equals to, ganun ulit, 211.875 divided by 2.125. So, we have, final answer, we have 211.875 divided by 2.125. So, mayroon tayong sigma C na 9500 PSI. Okay? Ayan. Okay guys So ayan yung, Kung mapapansin nyo guys Kung mapapansin nyo sa given problem natin with, Siyempre of course Tarehas yung internal diameter So yung thickness And of course pressure Mapapansin nyo Sigma L is equals to Half of Sigma C Okay yan yung relationship between Our, our Longitudinal and Circumferential stress Okay? So, la, next. Next problem. Last two. Ano na to? Last number three. Okay, so. Can you share tayo ulit? So, ayun guys ha. I hope nagigets nyo pa yung problem. Hindi pa siya medyo mal nakakalito. Okay? Kasi technically, uh, doon na naman iikot yung mga problem natin eh. Okay? Kung walang pressure, kung walang internal diameter, or walang inside diameter, walang thickness, or walang stress. So, ngayon, dito tayo. Calculate the minimum wall thickness for a cylindrical vessel that is to carry a gas at pressure of 1400 PSI. The diameter of the vessel is 2 feet, and the stress is limited to 12 KSI. So, technically, walang binanggit kung ano yung stress natin. So, assume natin yung stress is longitudinal, Assume natin yung stress is sigma L and then sigma C. So, parehas yan equal to 12 KSI. Next, nabanggit dito yung diameter of the vessel. So, technically, pag, pag walang nabinangkit na outer diameter siya, so, pag ating diameter, matik yon inside diameter na siya agad. So, the diameter of the, so, the inside diameter of the vessel is 2 feet. Okay? So, ayan. 12 KSI and then, ayan. So, kailangan natin hanapin is thickness. Minimum wall thickness. So, natin siyang isolve sa longitudinal and then sa hoop stress natin. Okay? Kasi minimum ang kailangan eh. Okay? 
So, solve natin siya ngayon. So, ang given, sigma L is equal to 12 KSI or 12,000. So, 12 KSI or 12 kilopounds, kilo PSI. So, sabihin yan, magdagdag ka lang ng dalaw, tatlong zero para maging PSI na siya. Ganun din sa sigma C natin. Okay? 12 KSI or 12,000 okay, PSI. So, next, may given na inside diameter na 2 feet. Okay? Okay lang yan. Kahit as is na 2 feet yan. Kasi technically, ang magkakancelan naman dyan is yung stress natin tsaka pressure. So, yung pressure natin, meron tayong 1,400 PSI. Okay? And meron tayong, tawag doon, ang hinahanap is minimum wall thickness. Okay? So, kung natin siya isolve both sa longitudinal and hoop stress natin. So, solve natin siya ngayon sa longitudinal. So, longitudinal is equal to PD over 4C. And then, 4T sigma L is equal to PD. Okay? So, T is equal to PD over sigma L 4. 4 sigma L. So, ayan yung formula natin ngayon for thickness. Okay? So, thickness is equals to, ano ba yung P? 1400. 1400 multiplied by inner diameter of 2 feet. Okay? All over. So, pakita 2 feet. Tapos, multiply by 4 times 12,000. Okay? So, T is equals to 1400 divided by, ay, times 2 divided by 4 times 12,000. Okay, we have, uh, we have thickness of 0 0.058333, ang madaming 3 yan, dire-diretso na yung 3 na yan, feet. Okay, so ayan na yung thickness natin sa sigma L. So, solve din natin, of course, yung thickness natin sa sigma C. Para ma-check natin kung ano yung pinaka-minimum. Diba? Kaya natin kasi minimum eh. So, ganun din. PD over 2T. So, syempre. Sir. O, oh, sige. Ano yan? Paano pag marami yung sir? Kaya yun, marami yung feet, sir. So, ah, mostly, di ba? Eh, technically, ang hinahanap is final, final answer naman na yung thickness, di ba? Syempre, ano ba, ano ba ang final answer natin, guys? Ilang decimal? Ilang decimal ang final answer? Guys. Oh. Ilang decimal? Hello, hi. Hello, Pastor. 3 decimal tayo po lagi, di ba? 3 decimal places for final answer. Okay, huwag niyo kakalimutan 'yun. 3 decimal tayo po lagi, final answer. Okay? So, ayan, solve naman natin 'to. So, Pwede na natin ng 2. So, dito sa sigma C natin, yung thickness niya is 0.117 na. Okay? Feet. So, mapapansin nyo, mas mababa yung value ng thickness sa sigma L. So, dapat, pagkukuha tayo ngayon ng minimum thickness, pagkukuha tayo ng minimum, thick, minimum wall thickness, sa sigma L natin siya isasolve. Okay? So, ito yung sagot natin. For Minimum thickness. Okay? Minimum thickness. Ay. Minimum wall thickness. Okay? So, last problem tayo. Bago tayo, bago tayo mag -ano. Number 4. Okay? Para... Hindi ko yung time nang matitira magsagot kayo agad para magpasa na kayo agad. Okay, so sample problem. A cylindrical steel pressure vessel, 400 mm in diameter. So, technically, ano na yan? In, in, ano na yan? Uh, inside diameter na yan. Okay? With a wall thickness of 20 mm or 20 mm is subjected to an internal pressure of 4.5 mega newton per meter squared or 4.5 Megapascal. Okay, megapascal na kagad yan. Calculate the tangential and longitudinal stress of in the steel and B, to what value may, may the internal pressure be increased if yung stress natin sa steel is limited or tumaas or limited to 
120 mega newton per meter squared. Okay? So, ayun. And yung problem natin, so dalawang ano siya. So, first, we have inside diameter of 400 mm. Okay? And thickness na equals to 20 mm. And internal pressure na 4.5 megapascal. Okay? Megapascal na yan. And calculate the, so A, calculate the sigma L and then sigma C. And sa B, calculate the internal pressure if, ah, uh, ano to? Assume natin tong stress in the steel. Assume na lang natin na ano to, ah. Wala dahil walang binanggit. Assume na, para isang solve na lang. Assume natin na sigma, ano siya? Sigma L. Yun na lang, sigma L. Ayan. If sigma L is equals to 120 megapascal. Okay? Assume natin na sigma L yan. Although walang binanggit, pero assume natin na sigma na longitudinal stress siya. Okay, so solve natin ngayon yung A. So sa A natin, guys, kahit ano unahin mo i-solve dyan, okay lang. Walang mawawala. Okay, sigma L is equals to PD over 4T. Okay? So, 4.5 megapascal para tayong mga, ano, para alam nyo yung magka-cancel out. Para di kayo magulat, ba't yun yung unit? Ayun yung langit, mm. Mm, tsaka mm. So, technically guys, magka-cancel out tong unit na yan. Okay, sa so, malitira na lang, a unit for sigma L is MPA. So, final answer. 4.5 times 400 divided by 80. So, we have... 22. Hmm? Ilan? Sige, ilan? 0.5, sir. 22.5 mega pascal. So, technically, di ba, pinakita ko na yung relationship... Ano ba yan? Ito. Pinakita ko yung relationship ng sigma L and sigma C natin. As long as, mag, syempre, magkakapares yung, yung diameter, yung pressure, yung pressure, tsaka thickness, we can say, as long as, ano ito, pressure, PL, so pressure sa longitudinal, tsaka pressure sa, ano, is constant. Parehas, DL, TC, and PL, and then TC. So, syempre, magkakaparehas naman yun, di ba? We can say na sigma C is equals to Ilan? Ilan yung sigma C natin? Guys. Equals to 45 mega pascal. Okay? So, ayun. Ito na yung final answer natin. Okay? So, next tayo. Sa B naman. So, solve natin ngayon yung B. So, B. So, as... Uh, Sigma L tayo mag-solve. Sigma L is equals to PD over 40. Equate mo na natin na para lumabas is paano lang. So, Sigma L 4T over diameter over diameter is equals to P. So, ayan na yung working equation natin. So, 4, 120 megapascal. Okay. Multiplied by 20. 20 mm over 400 mm. Okay? So, magka-cancel out ulit yan. So, equals to pressure. So, P is equals to, ayan, equate na lang natin to. 4, 120, 20 divided by 24. Ha? 24, yon. So, we have internal pressure as 24 mega pascal. Okay. So, ayan yung ano natin. Of course, kung sa ano is 24 megapascal siya, we can say ilan kaya siya sa ano? Ilan kaya siya sa sigma C? Try natin i-solve. Find pressure if sigma C is equals to 120 megapascal. Ay, ibang kulay pala. Sorry. Tigay mali to. Bagoy natin kulay nitong isa. Tuy natin ano. Tingnan natin. Sige. Ulitin ko lang. Try nyo i-solve naman yung ano, press, internal pressure sa sigma pag sigma C yung gagamitin.
ninety. Tin natin twenty mm divided by ah four hundred. Forty five ba? I twenty four pala sorry. O, try nyo i-solve naman. Ano na, may nakasolve na? May nakasolve na, guys? Yung baba lang yung mababaga. Hindi, ito, ito. Gagawin nyo lang. Itong 4, gagawin yung 2. Diba? Hindi, ito na equation nyo, guys. Ito na equation nyo. Yan na. Itong 4 dito, gawin nyo na lang 2. Yan yung pin natin. O, oh, ilan? Siyempre, bababa siya, di ba? Magiging 12, 12, 12 mega pascal. Okay? So, ayan yung dalawa natin. Okay, guys? So, I hope, ah, uh, so ito lang yung topic natin for this week. Technically, kasama siya sa prelim. And may iniwan akong dalawang problem dito. Okay? May iniwan akong dalawang problem dito. Nasasagutan nyo din ngayon. Okay? May, may klase kayo after ko or may break. 